I'm moving. But it's a good kind of move. Don't worry. There are some stressors when you move. What's the biggest stressor you've had to overcome when you move? Is it the fact that maybe you have a giant box of tools that you'll probably never use? Maybe forgotten lost dreams of disc golf days. Uh, unnecessary amounts of gear, including all of your files in one box. Uh, a gallon of pennies. 87 gallons of paint. Uh, families, individuals, people who collect vinyl, you and I. We're all trying to figure it out. Not sponsored by these guys, Oop Cube. I just love them. There's a, there's a problem with vinyl. It's the size. It's the transportation when you do need to be on the go. Well, here I am on the go in a need. All I have are these Oop Cubes that I bought and collected. Got 11. It actually holds my vinyl cleaning supplies, all of my vinyl, my seven inches, my tapes. Um, everything alphabetized and more some of them aren't all the way maxed out the good news is all I've needed to do to modify them to make them better as we'll find out when we get there hopefully is these squares it's hopefully all I need nothing crazy I did put some foam in the side of this just to stiffen it because these are Giz records Giz records are a little oversized want to make sure they got there safely so here I am. I, get, I gotta load up the stuff. It's been exhausting. <laughs> We're looking at piles of crap. Once I get the stuff loaded up in the car, let's load the stuff up in the car. You'll see it. And then we'll go from there. They're all in. The only issue I ran into shoving them in so harshly, you'll start to see the sides pop out. Don't do that. Not smart. Uh, that's the structural integrity of the cube. And it's hard to push it back in. Other than that, I just got all my crates loaded up. The handles stayed intact. The lids are locked in. They're stacked neatly. They won't shuffle that much. I could tell they didn't even really shuffle when I started stacking them. Even I didn't stack them straight. We're great. We're very happy. That was relatively easy. Oh. This is younger me, not knowing how the journey is gonna go. Either way, um, wow. Tell me your story. Have you had issues moving vinyl? What have you done? What have I done? What have we all done? Keep on grooving your way. Uh-oh. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Maybe it got a little bit of heat because they're like sticking together. There's no, nothing uh, foreign got in between it. So I think it is, I don't know if it's the heat and the plastic kind of starting to coalesce, but could be worse. So everything's coming out straight. Everything's coming out pretty much <laughs> dust, it's hard to say dust free, but without a lot of added dust. So we're looking good. That is unfortunately where some of the shampoo got to. Um, I'm just going through these. I changed my mind. I think we're doing a microfiber towel. Skip the cleaner. It's coming off. I got to check the disc to make sure it didn't get on the disc. This is in a vinyl storage solutions dual pocket. And this is in a my goodness, so not only did I put the whole jacket in the sleeve, I don't do this with every single one of them either, but I just happen to be so lucky to put the inner sleeve in a plastic Vinyl Store Solution single. Let's check the disc. The disc was on the edge here, so that's not, not great. Could have got in the edge. It smells nice. Not exactly recommended vinyl cleaner for your records. Not at all. Uh -oh. What is that? Is that? A streak. There's a streak on there. I'll have to give that a play test and see. It's after 
making notes of ones I need to play test and check. This is going to be a lot longer process than I thought, or what I expected, but yeah. Okay. Well, the turntable is on a moving truck, so I don't have it. I don't have any way to play test it yet, so stay tuned. Looks good, though, as far as damage. It's not warped. Maybe that was there before. I, I just have a feeling the way it's streaked and the way it's smudged on, on this side. You never know. Could have entered inside the jacket. Let's keep going. Got another live one. Looks like water damage to me, I'm guessing. This is from the water that leaked into my car during the torrential downpour. <laughs> Not great to see, but I gotta inspect it closer because um, this happens to also be a record that I unluckily took out of a inner sleeve because I ran out of them due to the fast-pacedness of everything moving. Um, not seeing anything <sighs> on the disc, disc one. Sleeve looks good. This was a record store day Dillinger escape plan. The old nugget vinyl. At least this is the same anti-static material, so the record should be fine for a little bit. Looking good, looks dry. It was a little warped before because of the etching, and it's actually not any more warped than it was, so that's good. These are the days when I put everything in sleeves. Double gatefold sleeve. But now I gotta inspect the jacket. Let's see if it did the job. Oh, buddy, we're soaked. We're soaked. It does smell, you know what it does smell like shampoo. It could be the shampoo damage. Oh, buddy, we're soaked. Yep. I should have thrown that shampoo in the trash. This is, uh...